Hello again, Alan Holden with the second screencast on managing your site that runs on the Mira content management system. Uh, the first screencast is a prerequisite because there you learn how to log in uh, and we're logged in now. And um, this screencast is pretty much about how to add content, specifically uh, adding content to the calendar object. Uh, we're logged in now, and before I go to the page with the calendar object, I thought I'd point out these little uh, components here. Uh, as you can see, because I'm logged in, the component gets a little dotted line around it, and it's got this edit box. Uh, looks a little different how it would on a normally live site. Um, and it's funny because I bring it up only to tell you to ignore it. Uh, it's probably a more advanced feature to go around editing components uh, but don't let those distract you. It's just the way it looks for you because you're logged in as an editor right now. So um, this is a pretty typical appearance for a Mira calendar object. Uh, damn, it looks like a calendar. Uh, in the Mira parent-child uh, system, the calendar object functions as a bucket into which you put individual Mira uh, components. Uh, these components down here are some dates that I threw in there and these are actually uh, gallery objects because they got photos in them. Uh, I can click on one of these and you'll see what I mean. Here's the text and these are individually uploaded photos of beautiful items that will be for sale at this particular well it's phony but this particular estate sale yes yes these are lovely mmm so moving back up to the calendar object if you want to add something you simply get the calendar on the page like I've got now and we go up here to the add link you can add many different things as calendar items. You could add a page if really all you've got is an announcement and some text. Uh, because this is an estate sale and it's going to have photos, I'm going down here and I'm editing, uh, entering a calendar. Uh, I'm sorry, a gallery object. I'm confusing myself. So the gallery object looks like pretty much all the other content. You're, you're probably saying to yourself, well, where are the photos? That comes later. I am going to make up another there's a sale name and I'm going to say um, this is a sale here is the address uh, phone uh, etc um, scroll down a little here uh, I, I could put a Google map uh, for example, if I clicked on this, I could add some more information, uh, more text. And just like the last lesson, when I'm done, I would click Publish. But because this is a calendar object, you'll see that we've got some dates here. So I'm going to have this show start on the 16th. I'm going to have it end a day later on the 17th. This is under the Display heading. And that's what tells the parent, the calendar object, where to place this child, which is the gallery object. So now I'm done. Now I'll click Publish. And we're here at the page. Um, Mira is telling us that the gallery is empty. That's OK. Uh, if I go up a level to the parent, I see now that the child is represented here in the calendar object. And uh, this child is actually a photo gallery. And when I click on that, here is the information I entered. Uh, any more stuff I put in that particular uh, content piece would be shown here. Um, just like I mentioned in my last screencast, if I click on Edit at this point, I can go back in here and change what I had before. I'm not going to change anything, so I'll just click on Close. And so that is how you add an object to the Mira Content Management System. You go to the parent, and you click on Add, and select which particular child you want. 
next screencast, we are going to add some children to this item, specifically pictures.